guys, it's Skoran. I'm Jens Garcia here from Tech for Geeks, and today we're going to be having a look at the super second build of the Super Nexus ROM. But first of all, I want to give a shout out to Android Techie 101. I'll be posting his YouTube channel down below. So yeah, let's go ahead and have a look at the ROM. All right. So over the locking screen, you'll see that it has been completely redesigned. On the right side, you've got the unlock button. And then over the uh, left side is the camera shortcut. And then over the top, you'll see the Google Now shortcut as well. All right, so as you can see, the notification bar has been changed as in completely redesigned. Now you get over the top, you have the uh, time and then the date, as well as you've got the shortcut setting to settings and the clear button. Now, one of the main feature of the notification bar is the able to um, hide and expand the notifications so as you can see by just using two fingers I'll be able to ha uh, hide and expand the uh, notification bar and also when I scroll it down as you can see the strip down the bottom when I touch it it like it's it colors in um, sort of lights up and when I don't touch it it just goes um, black since it's a pure Google experience you'll definitely get Google Now, which is the answer to um, Google's answer to Siri. Now with the other features like Google Cards, Google Wallet, uh, Music Player, they're also included. But with the Google Cards and Google Wallet, you'll have to download it through the Google Play, which are actually free anyway. So you'll be able to download that as well. One of my favorite new features on this new Jelly Bean update is the new project by Google which is called the Project Butter. Now the reason why that's my favorite is because I'm gonna be running all my apps much smoother now. I won't have any lag anymore and it's just amazing. You know it's superb transition you know and running at 60 frames per second compared to the 30 frames per second on the ice cream sandwich now looking at the settings of the phone, I'll be, as you can see, it's running the 4.1.1 and I will also be able to run the latest face unlock, as you can see. Alright, so if you use a lot of um, data, especially when you go to work, um, this one will actually, is actually um, working, uh, the 3G works as well and all of that, so you'll be able to use your browser on the go. Well, if you're sort of the person who uh, use their phone as their gaming device. Uh, I've also tried this ROM to run the Asphalt 7 and it's been working well and I didn't really get any lags. Although in the beginning when loading the um, game, but I think that's because it's too big and I guess the Samsung just, the S2 just couldn't handle the um, game because the game is pretty big so but as I played the game and it was running all smooth so alright so overall guys if you're looking for an, an a pure Google experience on your Samsung Galaxy S2 then I highly recommend this ROM to you now I'll be putting the link down below for you guys to be able to download this and install this on your S2 now uh, the, one of the main difference that I've noticed on using this uh, ROM is the speed as well as the transition transition of the um, between the apps and you know so far I'm getting good battery life with the ROM and I haven't have any haven't had any troubles with it compared to the very last one which which is uh, uh, so, um, unresponsiveness and lagginess between um, switching to the switching to different apps and all that but I say as I said I highly recommend this ROM since it's been updated now now I can definitely say to go ahead and download this ROM. So once again, I'm Jens Garcia from Tech for Geeks, and that is the Super Nexus ROM. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye.